As the winter of 2024 approaches, European nations heavily reliant on Russian natural gas find themselves in a precarious position. The unexpected move by the United States to impose sanctions on Gazprom Bank, Russia's third-largest bank and a key facilitator of energy transactions, has complicated payment mechanisms and risks severely disrupting energy supplies across the continent. If you're new to our channel, please leave a like as well as a sub so you never miss another video. Countries such as Slovakia, Hungary, and Austria, which have long-standing contractual relationships with Gazprom, the Russian state-owned energy giant, are now scrambling to find solutions to maintain their gas flows. The sanctions, aimed at curbing Russia's revenues and limiting its ability to fund its military operations in Ukraine, have inadvertently jeopardized Europe's energy security. Hungary has already warned of increased risks of gas supply halts through Ukraine, a major transit route for Russian gas to Europe. Slovakia, while officially silent on the matter, is actively seeking alternative solutions to ensure the continued flow of gas. Austria, too, faces challenges after OMVAG, its largest utility, ceased Gazprom payments. Turkey, another significant player in the Russian gas distribution landscape via the Turk Stream pipeline, is engaged in negotiations with the United States to secure waivers that would allow it to continue using Gazprom Bank for energy-related transactions. The energy relationship between the European Union and Russia has been under immense strain since the outbreak of the Russia-Ukraine conflict in February 2022. Previously, Russia fulfilled nearly 40% of the EU's gas requirements, but geopolitical tensions and punitive sanctions have disrupted this arrangement. The EU has accused Russia of weaponizing its energy supplies, while Moscow has attributed the disruptions to sanctions and technical issues. Key infrastructure, such as the Nord Stream 1 pipeline, has seen drastic reductions in operations, culminating in its closure. Moreover, Russia has halted gas supplies to countries unwilling to comply with its demand for ruble payments, prompting the EU to seek alternative energy solutions to address this challenge. In response to the energy crisis, the EU has intensified its efforts to diversify its energy sources. This includes boosting liquefied natural gas LNG, imports from nations like the United States and Qatar, as well as investing in new energy infrastructure. These adjustments, combined with market instability, have caused European gas prices to soar, surpassing €300 Euros per megawatt hour in 2022. This price spike has fueled inflation, severely impacting households and industries across the continent. Recently, Russia has ceased gas exports to Austria as of November 22, 2024. European natural gas prices have risen sharply, nearing their highest levels in a year. This increase is linked to escalating geopolitical tensions, including Ukraine's deployment of UK-supplied Storm Shadow missiles against Russian military targets. Concerns about further supply disruptions have heightened market volatility. On November 20, 2024, the Dutch Tidal Transfer Facility TTF, Front Month Futures, Europe's benchmark for natural gas prices, rose by 2.61% to €468.60 per megawatt hour. This growth underscores the market's sensitivity to geopolitical developments and their impact on energy stability. In the United Kingdom, the energy regulator Ofgem announced a £21 increase in the energy price cap, effective January 2025. This adjustment, driven by rising wholesale gas prices influenced by political instability and extreme weather, brings the average annual energy bill to £1,738. To better understand the current situation, it is necessary to examine the historical context of EU-Russia energy relations. In the post-World War II era and during the Cold War, trade between the Soviet Union and Western Europe was minimal, hindered by ideological divides and mutual distrust. However, by the late 1960s, economic exchanges began to take shape. In 1968, Austria became the first Western European nation to import Soviet gas, a deal made just before the Soviet invasion of Czechoslovakia. This agreement between Austria's OMV and the Soviet Union's Soyuz Neft export initiated annual gas deliveries of 142 million cubic meters. 
Over the subsequent decades, these imports grew significantly, with Austria importing 9.1 billion cubic meters of Russian gas by 2017. Austria's strategic position enabled it to serve as a key transit hub for Russian gas destined for Germany, Italy, and France via the Baumgarten and Uberachern gas hubs. Other Western European countries soon followed Austria's lead. By the late 1980s, Soviet gas accounted for 15% of France's and 30% of Germany's natural gas consumption, making energy a critical component of East-West economic relations during the Cold War. The 1970s saw a thaw in Cold War hostilities, facilitating greater economic collaboration between the Soviet Union and Western Europe. Major energy infrastructure projects were developed during this period, such as the Drusba oil pipeline and the Urengoy Pomarios Garod gas pipeline. The Drusba pipeline, which means friendship in Russian, has been operational since 1964. It spans approximately 5,100 kilometers and transports crude oil from Tatarstan, Russia, to destinations across Europe, including Ukraine, Belarus, Poland, and Germany. Its capacity, ranging from 1.2 to 1.4 million barrels per day, has been subject to ongoing expansion. Similarly, the Urengoy Pomariozgorod gas pipeline, initiated in 1984, extends 4,500 kilometers from Siberia to Europe via Ukraine, with a capacity of 32 billion cubic meters annually. It facilitated substantial gas exports to European markets. Following the Soviet Union's dissolution in 1991, the Russian Federation emerged as an independent state. Throughout the 1990s, despite severe economic challenges, energy trade between Russia and the EU expanded significantly. The 1994 Partnership and Cooperation Agreement PCA, established a framework for closer political and economic ties, including energy collaboration. By 2005, EU-Russia trade exceeded 166 billion euros, with energy exports playing a dominant role. Russia became a crucial supplier of oil and gas to the EU, solidifying energy as a cornerstone of their relationship. The 2014 annexation of Crimea by Russia significantly altered the dynamics of EU-Russia relations, resulting in a series of reciprocal sanctions that profoundly impacted bilateral trade. In response to the situation, the European Union implemented a range of measures targeting key sectors of the Russian economy. Restrictions were placed on the financial sector, limiting EU nationals and companies from buying or selling bonds, equity, or other money market instruments with a maturity exceeding 90 days issued by major Russian banks. In the energy sector, the EU imposed restrictions on the export of specific equipment and technology particularly those related to oil exploration and production. Additionally, a comprehensive embargo was placed on the import and export of arms and related materials in the defense sector. Russia retaliated with countermeasures, including bans on the import of agricultural products, raw materials, and foodstuffs from the EU and other countries that had imposed restrictions. These mutual actions led to a notable decline in trade between the EU and Russia. The total trade value dropped from 326 billion euros in 2013 to 285 billion euros in 2014, marking a reduction of approximately 12.6%. EU exports to Russia fell by 12.1%, while imports from Russia decreased by 13.5%. By 2016, the EU's trade deficit with Russia had been significantly reduced, falling from 93 billion euros in 2011 to 46.6 billion euros, largely due to the sharper decline in imports compared to exports. The sanctions and countermeasures have had lasting impacts on economic relations between the EU and Russia. Trade in sectors directly affected by the restrictions, such as energy and defense, experienced significant declines. Both parties have sought to diversify their trade partners and reduce economic interdependence, prompting shifts in their respective economic strategies. The 2022 Russia-Ukraine conflict has led to unprecedented sanctions, resulting in a significant decline in EU-Russia trade. Between the first quarter of 2022 and the second quarter of 2024, EU exports to Russia decreased by 59%, while imports from Russia fell by 87%. 
a notable impact was observed in the energy sector. Russia's share in the EU's extra EU imports of petroleum oil dropped from 21% in the second quarter of 2022 to 1% in the second quarter of 2024. This decline reflects the EU's efforts to reduce its dependency on Russian energy sources. The overall trade relationship between the EU and Russia has been significantly affected. The EU's trade deficit with Russia decreased from 45.8 billion euros in the second quarter of 2022 to 0.2 billion euros in the second quarter of 2024. This change is attributed to the substantial reduction in imports from Russia. In terms of specific commodities, the volume of nickel imported from Russia was 72% of what it had been in the first quarter of 2021, while its value dropped to 55% in the same period. These figures underscore the profound impact of the conflict and subsequent sanctions on EU-Russia trade relations, leading to a significant decrease in trade volumes and a shift in the EU's import sources. The latest development in this unfolding energy crisis is the announcement by Austria's OMVAG that Gazprom had ceased gas deliveries after arbitration disputes. European gas prices have surged 2.7%, reaching their highest levels in nearly a year. Austria's reliance on Russian gas highlights the vulnerabilities in Europe's energy landscape. With the expiration of a key transit agreement by late 2024, further uncertainty looms on the horizon. The cessation of Russian gas supplies to Europe, compounded by recent US sanctions on Gazprom Bank, has significantly impacted the European energy sector. As winter approaches, the historical dependence on Russian natural gas, which previously accounted for approximately 40% of Europe's supply, has left the continent in a precarious position. The US sanctions on Gazprom Bank, a crucial facilitator of energy transactions, have further complicated the situation, disrupting payment mechanisms for countries like Slovakia, Hungary, and Austria that rely on long-term contracts with Gazprom. In response, European nations have intensified efforts to diversify their energy imports, including increasing LNG imports from alternative suppliers and accelerating investments in renewable energy sources. However, these measures require time and substantial investment to fully offset the loss of Russian gas. The immediate consequence of these disruptions is a surge in energy prices across Europe. The reduction in supply, coupled with heightened demand during the winter months, has led to increased costs for consumers and businesses alike. This situation poses a risk of energy shortages, particularly if the winter proves to be harsher than anticipated. Furthermore, the expiration of the gas transit agreement between Russia and Ukraine at the end of 2024 adds another layer of uncertainty. This agreement has been crucial for the continued flow of Russian gas to Europe, and its termination could exacerbate supply challenges. As Europe navigates this complex energy landscape, the need for long-term sustainable solutions and a diversified energy mix has never been more pressing. The geopolitical tensions and economic consequences of the current crisis highlight the fragility of the continent's energy security and the importance of proactive policy measures to ensure a stable and resilient energy future. Thanks for watching till the end, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as well as a sub.